This has been the journey so far. The Rydal Road. A temple was found, and the turn of a key woke a giant from slumber. The makers have need of me, the warden bellowed. And so he went, in search of their only hope. Okay, and we're back with some more Darksiders 2. Uh, at this point, I got the warden, and now I need to go back to town, complete some quests and things like that. But before that, I'm going to go and do a quick side quest that I skipped over earlier. And that is the Hammer's Forge. I need to find Alia's brother's lost hammer in the Shattered Forge. Shattered Forge is over in this direction, which is near the Drench Fort. The Drench Fort was down here. On the way to the Drench Fort is the Shattered Forge. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. And I will bring you guys back once I get there. Yeah. Okay. We're just about to get there. Okay, we need to cross this broken bridge area, apparently. Oh. There was a lag spike. Yeah, the lags, the frame rate seems to have uh, helped a bit. Oh, there was a coin. Random discovery. Yeah. Uh, it seems to have been improved a little bit compared to how it was the last time I did a session of this. But every minute or two, you get a frame rate like that. And apparently there's a chest behind here. Nicely hidden chest. This should be a better hidden chest if it didn't show up on the radar, though. But I don't even think there's an option to turn that off. Okay. Continuing on, we need to find his hammer. Oh, the Shattered Forge. I, d I have a guess that that's where it is. Although it appears I can't get there right now. So I guess I'm going this way until I can get there. Uh, seems to be a bit of a dead end. I'm guessing I have to jump down there. There's a way back up. So. Anything? Oh, looks like I have to go down here. And where am I? Oh, looks like they're ready for me. Chest. I have the dungeon. Well, that was fast. I just started the dungeon. I've already got the map. Oh, come on. Don't fall off. I thought he was going to knock me off. Phew. I don't think that goes anywhere. I'm not going to randomly jump off though. Um, what well, appears there's some chests on the other side of this door, but I can't go through there. So this way... Um, 
Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Oh, another one of these things. Not difficult at all. Much easier than it was in a, uh, Prince of Persia. Which is a pretty good game. And I'm talking about Sands of Time, the original. I never played any other of the other ones. Is this another one? or? Oh, no, I know what I'm supposed to do. Totally misunderstood that. Okay. I did not even see these things here. Huh. Why, hello, Dara. Knocked him off. Yeah, I'm just glad they can't knock me off as easily as I knocked him off. Huh. Okay, how do I get over there? Oh, have to jump off the side. Behind the waterfall. Okay. Bang. So I have to go up here. And let's get this area done relatively fast. Still on apocalyptic difficulty, not that it means much right now. Um, I don't think I can go this way. Yeah, that positioning makes it so that I can't go that way. So, into this room. What's over here? A switch. Wonder what this does. Okay, it lets me come back up. Okay, so if I get... If I fall down, I can pick up. And then I have to go around to get that thing to blow up some. What is my do hickeys? The cor I think it's corruption stuff that blocks doorways and such. Okay. They really made the parkouring and such in this game really, really easy. There we go. Is that everything I needed up here? I guess so. Oh, come on. Okay. Now I can go to that room with the double chests. Oh, never mind. Gotta kill this guy first. These guys still have not gotten any stronger at all since the first one I found. This game's actually gonna, maybe it's just because I'm doing a side side quest that the enemies are low level. I was supposed to do the side quest earlier in the game. I waited a bit, and now the enemies are weak. And is the camera stuck? What the heck? Okay, there we go. That was strange. <laughs> uh. Oh come on! That reminded me of like a uh, Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time camera. It had some scenes where it was like that. It's not necessarily a bad camera angle, it's better than sometimes where it's like you get like this or whatever and you can't really see much. When the corner gets back in, into it, when the camera gets back into a corner, it has some issues on this game. Oh, it's a trap! Construct Champion. Not a surprising opponent. Yeah, that camera has some issues. Come on, dodge one. Okay, 
I need to get a new weapon. This secondary weapon is being a bit old. Fall down. Okay. Here we go. Not too hard. Oh, don't freeze. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm getting uh, upgrades to my computer very, 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 very soon. So, this won't happen anymore. This will be the last couple videos where there are any frame rate issues. Okay, I'm in this room now. You can go up there, but it appears to be blocked off. That door is locked. I'm not sure if there's anything in the water. Go up there. Huh. I wonder what that's for. Okay, so... Let's see. I don't know if I can get up anywhere right now. Oh, except here. So I guess I'm gonna try up here. Oh, I guess this is the only way to go. Can I make it? Oh, okay, I can't. Okay, so. What can I do over here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Fail. Uh, okay, I can come back up. Let's see if there's anything down here. Does this go anywhere? No, that's a dead end. Oh, this goes somewhere down there. Maybe I was supposed to go. Or maybe this is a secret. Yay for exploring! Yeah, I was supposed to come over there. Okay. That's that. Anything else I need to use this on? Guess not. Yarg. Okay, so now I need to go to that open area. And then see where that takes me. Okay, where does this take us? Huh. Okay, well I guess I'm exploring down here again. Absolutely nowhere, apparently. Huh, interesting to try to fail attack. Let's go anywhere that's dead into. Okay. Out of the water. I'm going, yeah, as you can already tell, I'm going to be skipping around this so it goes a little bit faster. I'm not going to have you guys miss any important details or anything. Just some of the more redundant stuff. Oh, those guys. Wow, there's a lot of them. One sees me. Guys are easy to take down. Okay. 
What's the button for it? That's it. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Those guys should help out a little bit. Keep them distracted. Oh, I'm back into a corner. Camera's terrible. Can't see what's going on. Get hit by that guy. Run away. Okay. Oh, that guy's an attack special. Okay. I need to get a new weapon. Because I don't like this Vander Smash anymore. It's getting old. So. Okay, well, let's just finish this area and then see how it goes on from there. Pretty low on health. Can probably use a potion, but I'll wait a minute and maybe do it later if I need it. Okay, that's the key, so I can go through that door now. Open this up. And to the door. Okay. Oh, okay, we're done with that apparently, because this is that starting room. Is it Splinterbone? In the hands of a skilled blacksmith, this hammer grants the ability to forge powerful weapons and armor. Return this item to Valis and try stone. Okay. So. Interesting. Um, sure. I, I guess that's interesting. But yeah, Shattered Forge is completed. Oh, come on, let it give me up. Okay. And I will now return to Tristone. And meet you guys there. Okay, we're at town. We have a few quests to turn in. First being the, uh, the one the shaman lady gave us. What was her name? A heart in the forest, a mind that is dreaming. Awaken him, horseman, or you will never escape. Here is what huh. you asked for. Ah, Thank you, horseman. You'll not be sorry for your trouble. I better not this be. This talisman will certainly help you on your quest. But I fear you will not break your destiny. No, but I believe I might bend it a little. Hmm. <laughs> okay. There are new talismans for you to browse. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... I guess I'll pass. Oh, oh, oh. Did the game freeze? Oh, okay. A maker known only as the Mad Smith formed, forged this talisman using the arms and armor of slain warriors from the Dead Plains. Grim, as the talisman was named, was crafted to distill and concentrate necromantic powers from the Abyss. The Grim talisman makes any weapon wielded by its owner build Reaper energy with every successful attack. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Let's look at it. Special ability Grim, and that's it. Um, 5% crit chance or Grim. I don't know, I'll try it out for a little bit, see how it works. Oh, and I leveled up, apparently. Oh, dang. Oh, barely made it. I restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one. Or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman. And the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the guardian. But have you asked yourself... Why you seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The tree of life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places huh. undreamed of. Whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night, the tree exists there. It may appear different, 
Yet it is the same tree, and its roots connect all the realms. The tree of life is not where journeys end, but where they begin. Intriguing. Okay, speak to the warden. Okay, well, let's go ahead and switch to the side quests. I have these two to turn in. Yeah. Oh, let's see where the other one goes. Okay, let's go that one first, because that one's closer. Come on. This compass guided me to many wonders. To hold it again after so long, it makes me feel a mere 500 years old. Thank you. <laughs> Gauntlets of Savagery. Using the very bones of the demon he defeated, an unknown maker craftsman forged these weapons to celebrate his victory in battle. The wearer of these gauntlets is imbued with the demon's feral energy. The more damage it is done to the wielder, the more damage is done to the wielder, the more frenzied and savage his attacks become. Hmm. Let's take a quick look at that. Bloodlust. Meh. What is up with this? Okay. Okay, anything interesting here? Okay, let's give you your hammer. Or whatever whatever it was. Okay, let's talk to your sister then. What brings you before me? I believe you were looking for something. Oh, splinter bone. You found it. I did. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I leave you to your work, Alice. Mm -hmm. Should you come this way again, you may find items of even Should you come this way again, you may find items of even greater power. Deja vu. <laughs> okay, I don't care about her. I hate having a to I don't want to buy your crap. Or have the game freeze. We have new items. Yeah, and your items are terrible. <gasps> okay, this way I guess. <gasps> Huh. Oh, wow. Now this looks cool. I have a feeling that's where I need to go. That might be a bit difficult. So let's talk. So the time has come. I guess. What became of the other wardens? In my dreams, I felt many of my brothers, but only one still called. Oral, a warden most ancient. His song still haunts me. Hmm. Oron. Maybe he's the one that I found that was like half destroyed. Tell oh, me about know. the foundry. It is a holy site where soul is fused with stone. Doesn't look so holy from here. The darkness has spared little in our realm. Not the surprisingly. Is a place okay. of magic. magic. It is strong. And with your help, we will claim it once. We will. Let's go do it. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, okay, so that's how we're gonna get over there. Let's 
not safe here. Or they sure do stop. Very snow shame in turn. No point either. You heard the warden. It's not safe to go alone. You need my help. Oh god. That's gonna end badly. We're gonna have a lumbering fool watching our back with a giant hammer. This can only end one way. Oh, come on. Okay, load the area. Okay. I said load the area. Okay. Uh. There's a chest over here. I figure there might be something in the corner. I'll have to check the other corner as well. Anything over here? Okay, nothing. You know, I've noticed I've sort of ran out of things to talk about. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I was sort of skipping around a little bit. Trying to get more done in less time. Without rambling a little bit too much, like I'm doing now. Okay. Appears there's a chest over there. And lag. Yay. Okay. Stone of resistance. Let's go with this. Okay. And let's take a quick look at our equipment before we actually get into this. Dire Mace. Inferno damage, arcane. Wow, that does a lot of inferno damage. We have some possessed claws, ooh. It's fast. I'm gonna get this. Wrath per kill or strength? Let's go for strength. And let's upgrade this again. Frost damage or health per kill. Huh, I'm not sure. Frost damage or health per kill. More health or more damage. What do I want on this? More health or more damage. Let's go for damage, I guess. Arcane, crit damage, or piercing damage, crit damage, definitely. Name is health per crit, wrath on crit. Health per kill, not health per crit. Hmm. Let's go add some piercing damage just to make this like 
really high damage. Or as high damage as we can get it. Okay, one more level. This, this, this. Okay, additional piercing damage or crit. Definitely crit. Okay, I think that's max level. Yeah. So now this attacks fast. There's about a third, or maybe a little bit less, a little bit less than a third, like four ninths or something, maybe. No, two ninths. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is worth it, but we'll see how fast attacking weapons do. Might give us some bit of a change of pace. Once we finally get a uh, a possessed primary weapon, that should help out. Okay, now we have a different secondary weapon. Let's see how it works out in combat. Oh, a giant hammer. The foundry. Holy crap, that hammer is pretty cool looking. Hmm. Anything in here? Yep, it's a whole area. That's locked. So much for that area. Can't go through there. Well, how about it then? Huh? Oh. Well, I guess teamwork works. Get on the side. And oh gosh, I missed the chest. Oh, I can get it from over there. Okay. <gasps> this way, I guess. <laughs> Sort of liking those combos. With the fast attacking weapons. It definitely does do less DPS. I wonder if it's worth it. What's this do? Opens up that area. I'm waiting. You're gonna keep waiting. Oh come on. Okay, well Um I guess that's that for this ep this bit. And I will 
be doing the rest of the foundry later, so yeah, after I get my upgrades on the PC. Yay. See you guys in a few minutes. As always, this has been Mithonian, and thank you guys for watching.